Hello everyone and welcome to our guide on how to adjust seeds for Valheim. In my personal opinion, Valheim is one of the titans of survival games, same up there with Minecraft and Ark and things of the sort. Games like these have something called seeds that, if you and your friends can find a good one, can completely alter the gameplay, and that's why we're going over how to change your seed. Are seeds possible on servers? The simple answer to this question is no, but the slightly more detailed one is that the Valheim servers simply just don't support worlds that have custom seeds. Luckily, there is a workaround, and that is what we're going to be focusing on today, but again, the simple answer is no. Creating a solo custom world. To get this workaround, the first thing you want to do is open up your Valheim game, start a new game, and go and create a new solo map. This is where you can insert the seed that you want. Make sure that you make the name of this seed something memorable. In this case, I'm doing New World, and the actual seed itself is what you want it to be named. In this case, I'm doing Nitrato. From here, you're going to go to Manage Saves of the world that you've selected. In the Manage Saves section, you want to make sure that the world that you've selected is highlighted, and then go down to where you see the Move to Local. Click that. Then you want to open up your percent app data percent folder on your Windows browser. Now you're going to take this path. You actually want to go up a folder back to app data from roaming, then go to the local low, then scroll down to find Iron Gate, which is the creators of this game, then Valheim, then you're going to go to the worlds underscore local folder. This is where you'll find that new world that you just created. Uploading your custom world. This tutorial requires some sort of FTP app, so if you don't have one, I highly recommend checking out this in the description below so that you can get familiarized. I'll be using FileZilla. Once you're familiar with it, go ahead and log in on FileZilla to the server, and then you're gonna take the Valheim path, then Steam apps, then you're going to go to world underscore local, of course, and then you'll click and drag the name of the world, in my case, new world, into the folder below where the files are. That is how you upload your own seed into the world. Now we are just a couple of steps away from having it on the server. What you wanna do is go to the left-hand side where you see the general settings in your server panel. Then you're going to type in the search bar, world name. This is the setting we need to change. Change it from what is the default, which is dedicated, to whatever the name of the world you created was that you just uploaded the file. Then you're gonna restart the server and double down on the pop-up asking you to restart, and then you'll be good to go. Fun seeds to try. Now, I might just be a little bit biased, but if you and your friends are looking for a fun seed to try out, you should try out Nitra Duck and Nitra Doe. There are some really cool features on both of these maps, some of them being traitor things and boss things. Conclusion. Well everyone, now you know how to work around this seed server issue. If you happen to like this tutorial, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell. That way we know this is the type of content that you like to see. Until next time. Huh.